Greg Tupper, Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com here at the THSEA Coaching School and Convention here in San Antonio with a gentleman who I hope flew. We drove. Wow. I've got severe claustrophobia, so uh, we, uh, we packed up two minivans and, and came eastbound. The head coach, the new head coach, the El Paso uh, Coronado Thunderbirds. It's Coach Mike Pride. Coach, I haven't seen you in person uh, since, so congratulations on the game. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, let me ask you about that job. Uh, sure. Coronado is, in many ways, the flagship football program in, in El Paso, it, and historically. Yes, sir. Um, you're, you were an assistant at Pebble Hills, moving over to the head chair there at, uh, at Coronado. What, I have to imagine that's a pretty humbling experience for you. You know, it's very special. It's, I was telling the guys this last week in our boot camp that I remember I was 16, 17 years old sitting at Coach Brooks' desk, and he asked me, he said, what do you want to do? I said, Coach, I want your job. Well, you're not going to get it. And, you know, to a point he was right. He held that job for so long, but it, it's very special. And to say that it was, uh, you know, my dream job is very cliche, but it's very true. Uh, there's only been uh, four head coaches in the history of Coronado. And Coronado opened up, I think, in the 60s. So uh, it's, it is very special to come back home. Uh, that is a community and a school that means so much to me because of what it's done for me. Yeah. Uh, but it is the flagship school. Uh, we've got to get our program back on track, which I think we've taken some good steps to, to get there. But uh, you're right, it is the flagship school. So when, when you get the job there at Coronado, and you address your guys for the first time as their head coach. What was, what was your message to your guys? You know, just that I'm, I'm so happy to be there. Um, I'm proud to be with them, uh, you know, and that, that, that was my dream school. Um, so, um, you know, the, the biggest thing is that I've been in their shoes. You know, we're sitting in the locker room that I used to dress in that was very special to me. So um, that was the biggest thing, that I was just happy to be there and that, uh, you know, we're going to give it our all. You, you mentioned getting back on track. This is a program that... Obviously, the bones are still very good. It just the, the success hasn't been there recently. So, what's sure. step one? What's step one to getting back on? The S- step back one on? was bringing on some good coaches. Um, our administration was really awesome. They let us bring on seven new coaches. Out of those seven new coaches, all seven are on campus. Um, so, we went from having three coaches on campus to having ten in a matter of about six months. Um, so, that was huge. Um, so, you know, just bringing in some energy and some youth. Um, that was the biggest thing, and then we've got to get to our middle schools and start recruiting. And I think, you know, recruiting is kind of the bad word, but maybe just keeping what's ours. Yeah, I was going to say, like in El Paso and the situation that you're in, it's not a four-letter word in the same way that it would be at other schools because there, I think, I don't got to tell you, a lot of talent in El Paso. Sure. It's a matter of making sure they are on campus at Coronado right. where they should be. You know, and it starts with winning. Yeah. You've got to win. You win, and the kids are going to come. They've got a lot of options on where they can go to school. Um, and so, if, you know, winning takes care of a lot of that things. Winning cures all ailments. So uh, we've got to win and just, you know, keep the kids that we're supposed to keep. Um, you're coming from Pebble Hills. I'm interested in your ear, um, in, in what you're going to take from Coach Torres, that, that, uh, from coaching there under him at Pebble I, Hills. I think the better question is what I'm not going to take. <laughs> he has done, uh, Coach T and I worked together for roughly 11 years, going from Franklin to Pebble Hills. And he, uh, there's not a better mentor I could have asked for. He, uh, and I, I texted him the other day, I said, man, there's not a day that goes by where you didn't show me something, whether it be indirectly or directly, that I use every day. Um, there's not a better mentor out there. And, you know, he just, he's done everything for me um, and taught me the rough way. I'll tell you a funny story. There was, back when we were at Franklin, uh, you know, we'd get coaching evaluations, and he gave me an evaluation, and he was only our OC. So uh, our desk right next to each other, he gave me an evaluation and just ripped me to shreds. It had red ink, so I know I was in trouble, and he just ripped me to shreds. But I sat there, and I'm like, man, this guy really cares. Like, he's going to care to tell me the truth, that you have to do this, you have to do this. If you want to get to where you go, this is what you need to fix. And he did it a long time ago. So um, to say I love that guy is an understatement. He has done so much for me, so much for everybody that works in his program. Um, and he's just a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal man. So Coronado fans who are watching this, uh, maybe unfamiliar with you. What is what is a Mike Pry Coronado team going to look like? What are you guys going to hang your hat on? You know, it's got to be toughness. You know, I'm an old old line guy, so so Love we've got to be tough. Um, you know, they say they say you play offensive line if you're the smart guy on the team. Well, I was a I, center too. So well, see now, I mean, valedictorian basically. Yeah, right. I wish, um, but you know, it, we're going to be tough. Um, we're going to be physical. We're going to be fast. Um, I, I mean, I'd like to be at least. Um, we're going to open up the offense a little more. Um, we've got some talent. We've got a young man named Cade Little who uh, 
you know, he's just an, an amazing athlete. So we're going to get the ball in his hands in different situations. We've got a big tight end named Mateo Grajeda who, uh, you know, shame on us if he doesn't catch the ball 15 times a game. So uh, we're going to open up the offense a little bit. Our offensive coordinator is a guy named Nate Jeffrey, who's a UTEP running back, a uh, young guy, came over from Eastwood. So he's, uh, he's familiar with the high-power offense. Um, you know, we're just going to open it up a little bit. Our defensive coordinator came over from Franklin, a gentleman named Gabe Blanco, and he's as tough as boot leather. So, um, you know, defense is going to be tough, fast. Offense is going to, you know, speed up a little bit, pick up the tempo, and, and push, the, push the tempo a little bit. Mike Prime, new head coach of the El Paso Coronado Thunderbirds. Coach, one more question before we go. You got it. Coming out to a T-Birds game, I don't like to go to a game hungry. It's just me. I get hangry. Especially, you Same. Know, especially you guys are, I mean, here's the thing. You guys might be up 42 nothing on somebody, and then it's like, what am I? Oh, then I'm all upset. Yeah. I'm all out of sight. That's a problem. El, El Paso's an elite food town. Elite food town. Where do I need to go before a T-Birds game? I would go to Avila's restaurant on Mesa. Okay. Uh, a gentleman named Andy Avila owns it. Big time Coronado guy, mm. um, and it's it's kind of the go-to for the West Siders that know um, there. Or there's a place out in Cantillo called the Little Diner. Um, solid. Okay. Solid. It's President Bush has been there. Um, it, it's kind of the who's who, and it's kind of a hole in the wall. It's hard to find, but I'll help you when you get out there. Okay. That's, but they've got the, the best gorditas. Okay. When I go out there, yeah, I'll give it, you a call. It's on. Okay. It's Appreciate on. You, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much.